going to toast Thoughts of a Stoner to now the president of ESPN, John Skipper, has decided to let motherfuckers go. All right, he's firing and laying off up to a hundred people today. Like, currently, right now, niggas is getting fired, and they're letting the world know right now, which is crazy, bro. So, John Skipper wrote to employees, the dynamic change demands an increased focus on versatility and value, and as a result, we have been engaged in a challenging process of determining the talent, anchors, analysts, reporters, writers, and those who handle play-by-play -play necessary to meet those demands. We will implement changes in our talent lineup this week. A limited number of other positions will also be affected, and a handful of new jobs will be posted to fill various needs. All right, now word is that they are trying to focus on a ESPN app, and they're trying to, uh, you know, basically get their foot all the way into the online world and the online presence, because believe it or not, Yes, cars are still on the fucking ground, but we are living in the future, all right? It's a lot of shit that we could do that we couldn't have done a while ago, which is uh, a lot of shit that we take for granted. So, basically, these old heads are trying to finally do something that's really been popping for <laughs> about 20 years, which is, uh, you know, go head on, head first into the internet, which is, uh, in turn, making them or bringing him to a decision to fire and, and ruin the lives of, 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 uh, of employees and their families, okay? Just fucked up. All right. Now, there's a couple of people who've gotten fired, bro. Like Danny Cannell, all right? Hold on. Ed Werder, Trent Diffler, Dilfer, sorry. Dana O'Neill, Scott Burnside, Mark Saxon. Eamon Brennan, Brennan, Eamon Brennan, listen, man, these people are heartbroken on Twitter, letting people know, poured my heart and soul into ESPN for the last eight years, moved my wife and three kids to Connecticut to go all in five years ago, bummed it ended in three minutes, god damn, Trent Dilf Dilfer writes, laid off by ESPN today, Although sad because I love my job, mostly filled with gratitude and appreciation for the nine years. Great friends and teammates. Fuck that, nigga. You are weak. All right. After seven years reporting on NFL, I've been informed that I'm being laid off by ESPN effective immediately. I have no plans to retire, writes Ed Werder. Okay. Dana O'Neill says, add me to the list. Just got the call. I've been informed my contract will not be renewed at ESPN. Listen, man, I could go on and on. You know, there's a couple of other people, and there are, like I said, there's more uh, currently, all right, who are getting fired. Now, this goes to the old um, philosophy of being your own boss. I know it's hard to do because it requires a lot of discipline, a lot of uh you got to be meticulous you got to pay attention to detail and you have to be willing to go through that ugly stage man like take a look at me right now my videos i got a couple of good videos I'm, well i've been doing this for three months all right so i'm not really beating myself up on it yet but my video views are not always consistently popping. You know what I'm saying? I have a couple of good videos that I reach, you know, decent numbers. I got one good video, like one great video that uh, hit. Well, all my videos are great, but I have one video that has reached up, you know, to 183,000 views or something like that. I mean, I wish my shit was consistently like that, but I know that that's not gonna happen right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it could. You know, you never know what's, when your blessing is going to be around the corner. But right now, man, my shit is ugly, all right? My videos be having 30 views. If I'm doing a video on Kodak Black, bro, my shit's going to have 30 fucking views, all right? 50 max. Y'all niggas don't want to hear about that nigga Kodak. But I'm going to report on him because I fuck with him. Now, man, it's a lot of my videos that have double-digit views, and that's embarrassing, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to look at my videos and see that shit, but that's what happens, it's the cost um, that I have to, you know, uh, pay 
to get to my end goal or get to where I'm trying to be. All right. I want to be successful with this shit. And I'm I'm going to be if I keep at it now. The, and 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 YouTube is just a stepping stone I want to use. I don't want to be, you know, strictly on YouTube's platform. I have a website coming up. It's 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 in the works. I got the domain. All right. It's in the works. Um, I'm I'm. I'm doing things in the background right now, man, and I'm trying to, like, you know, get my own platform going so I don't have to, you know, solely depend on YouTube, and I end up like these motherfuckers on this video who I'm talking about. I don't want my fate to be in someone else's hands, all right? Fuck that. My money and my fate should not be on, in, in, in anyone else's hands but my own, all right? That's, that's what I mean. You got to want to be your own boss. I remember... Being a child, bro, I don't even know how old I was. I have no idea. I just remember being in the car, the car seat. And I remember being in the back seat looking up at the back of my mom's car uh, seat. And I remember asking her, Mom, how do you get rich? Bro, I had to have been maybe three or four. And I asked her, you know, how do you get rich? And my mom told me, she didn't tell me you got to go to college and get a good job. And she didn't say you need a degree. She didn't say any of that shit. My mom told me you got to sell things to people that people like and that people want to buy. So, mom, I appreciate that. You probably don't even remember saying that to me because, you know, you have suggested that I go to school and things like that. But what you told me back then stuck to me. And, you know, you have a strong will son who's going to do whatever he needs to do to be successful and be an entrepreneur not have to depend on anyone to sign the check for me all right so i can't end up like these people y'all let me know what y'all think about this though man i'm about to get up out of here i'm gone